This week's activity was inspired by our very own Lily May and she has been desperate for weeks to show you how to make a rice shaker. So why is this activity good then? Well you can talk about different food textures and how you eat the different food at tea time. You can talk about how the different foods sound in the shaker and you can experiment by making music and uh, colour mixing as well. So there's lots of different things that you can learn and do with this activity. So let's see how to make one. Right then, so to make your rice shakers then, what you're going to do, you're going to put your rice into a dish and then you need to cook So if you have to would you yeah. like yellow or green, Emily? Uh, green, can I like green? Do you like green? Yeah, I like green and pink. Right, so you pour a little bit, a few drops into your rice. Pour a few bits into yours, I know that's it. Look. Right, and then stir it. I want this one. This, this one. Stir it around. I'm having big rice. I'm having green rice. And then try it on your line. You've got one there. Hey, my rice is getting on me. Oh, you like my colour rice? Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. Oh, my colour rice. Oh, look at your green. Look at my green. Look at your yellow. Are you going to have some pink and some yellow? Yeah, I'm so green. Here's some pink. You can use some of my pink. But as well, so, shall we try adding some pasta? Shall we try adding some pasta? Yeah, no, so I you can fix it I'm, I'm putting the pasta on the table. And they're all the ones that I'm putting in my... Can you remember what they're called? Lentils. Can I have some lentils? I'm not wet. See if you can get something. Are oh, you doing it with your cup? That's a good idea, isn't it? Can I have any? Get ready to pour them in. Yeah. Mm. Bit messy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. 